I can honestly say I've only ever wanted to bring glory to my country through playing cricket. In striving to do so, I've made a decision which has had the opposite effect and it's one that I'll regret for as long as I live. I do realise that I'm responsible for my own actions and the consequences that that brings. It is heartbreaking to know that I'll not be taking the field with my teammates I love and respect and that I've let down. Right now, it is hard to know what comes next, but first and foremost, is it what? Is the well being of my family. In the back of my mind, I suppose there is a tiny ray of hope, but I'm, re I'm resigned to the fact that that may never happen. But in the coming weeks and months, I'm going to look at how this has happened and who I am as a man. To be honest, I'm not sure right now how I'll do this. I will seek out advice and expertise to help me make serious changes. I want to apologise to my family. Especially my wife and daughters. Your love means your love means more than anything to me. I know I would not be anything without you. I'm very sorry for putting you through this, and I promise you that I'll never put you in this position again. Before I take questions, I want to again say thank you. I take full responsibility for my part in what happened, and I'm deeply sorry for the consequences of what I was involved in. I failed in my responsibilities as vice captain of the Australian cricket team. I'll now answer your questions. Camp David, the cruel treatment. It's tough. It's tough for me to talk about where my thought space was on on that day, given the circumstances that happened in Durban. But I'm here to take full responsibility of my actions. Of the the part that I played in that happened on day three in, in Newlands, in Cape Town. And I'm extremely sorry. I really, really regret that. And it's going to be a decision that's going to stick with me for the rest of my life.